Hello and welcome to my channel, Saving with Kay. If you are new here, welcome. Let me know down in the comments so I can say hi to you. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to another one of my videos. Today is my CVS and Walgreens haul. It is very slow at CVS. I only did a few things. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of new digitals to do you know, a haul. I'm one of the many who got for my flash coupon a $2 off my purchase, which is great, but I was really hoping for that spend 70, get $10 off. So unfortunately I did not get that. So I didn't get a whole lot there. Um, Walgreens on mine and my husband's accounts, we got a spend 35, get $7 in Walgreens cash. I'm hoping, um, so I went to the Walgreens I love to go to because their register reward the Catalina machine's always working. It's an older gentleman that's always working in the mornings and he's super awesome. But when I got there, it said cash only. So I was like, uh oh. So I don't know if there is some sort of system downage or what. I'm in front of the other Walgreens that I go to. Fingers crossed that the Catalina machine is printing. That's usually my biggest issue when it comes to Walgreens is it's hit or miss if I actually get those. Now I, I generally do submit to the Catalina website and they do give me those register rewards, but it's nice not to have issues like that come up, especially if I'm in a hurry because <laughs> sometimes I forget. <laughs> so um, we'll see what we, we will be able to do in there. If this video is helpful at all to you, please be sure to smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite deal is this week and to subscribe. So with all that being said, let's go in and get these deals. We're going to start at CVS and grab the Garnier Fruit Teas. They are two for $8. And when you buy two, you get a $3 extra care buck. So we'll grab two, totaling $8. We do have a new $3 off of two digital coupon that will lower our out-of-pocket cost to $5. Earn that $3 extra care buck, making it only $2 for both of them. So now I'm going to grab these Crest Pro Health toothpaste. This one is the Advanced Gum Protection. They're $3.99 again this week, and when you buy two, you get a $5 extra care buck. So grabbing two of these would total you $7.98. We have a $4 digital that is attaching to this that would lower our out-of-pocket cost to $3.98. We'll earn that $5 extra care buck, making this a $1.02 moneymaker. Now I'm going to grab two of these Airwick essential oil refills. They are $8.99 at my store. They are buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy two, you get a $3 extra care buck. So two of these would total me $13.98 at the store. I would pay that. Then I would submit to Ibotta for $4 off of each one. So $8 total. And then earn that $3 extra care buck, making both of these only $2.48. So these are the three transactions that I did. Everything went beautifully. I did forget my receipt at home, so I'm not able to show you guys, but it did all work out beautifully. So now we're gonna go over to Walgreens and do some deals over there. So now I'm gonna grab two of these Bactine Max Antibiotic Max Pain Relief. They are $9.79 each. Two of these will total me $19.58. I have a three off a of two paper coupon. Um, it was a hang tag coupon that I had found earlier this week. Lowering my out of pocket cost to $16.58. I will submit to Ibotta for $4.75, back off of each one, so $9.50. Then on Fetch, I have a rebate for $3.50. And then I will earn a $5 register reward, making this a $1.42 moneymaker. Then I want to grab three of these Airwick refills. They are $6.49, and then when you spend $15, you get a $3 register reward. So I am going to grab three of these. That would total me $19.49. On Ibotta, we have $4 off of each one of these. Now, this Ibotta rebate is going to expire today. So if you're wanting to do it here or even at CVS, you're going to have to run and do it. I'm going to be submitting to a separate Ibotta account. That's why I'm able to do this again. So... I will get $12 back and then earn a $3 register reward, making this $4.47 for all three of these. So this is everything I'm gonna do in my first transaction. So I do have that $3 off of two hanging tag coupon there so you could see it. So the total for all of this before any coupons is $39.05. We have that $3 paper coupon lowering our out-of-pocket cost to $36.05. I am gonna use raw, uh, register rewards to lower down my out-of-pocket cost. Then I'm gonna to submit to Ibotta for $21.50 in Ibotta rebates to a fetch for $3.50. We will get $8 in register rewards, five for the Bactine and then three for the uh, Airwick. Then I will earn my $7 in Walgreens cash for my spend booster, making this a $3.95 moneymaker. 
So this is how my first transaction went. You could see the $3 paper coupon came off and I used register rewards. I did give my $7 in Walgreens cash and then I got the $5 register reward for the Bactine and the three for the Airwick. So now I'm gonna figure out another scenario and do another transaction. So before I do another transaction with my spin booster, I'm going to grab one of these Scots. They are $5.99. We do have a $1 digital. And then on Ibotta, we have a $2 Ibotta rebate. That would make this $2.99, which isn't a bad deal. I am going to pair this in with the uh, sandwich bags or freezer bags of buy one, get two free and see if I get a, uh, spend a paper spin booster. So I did not get a paper spend booster. So we'll just go ahead and do the digital one. We're gonna do the Colgate deal again this week. They are buy two, get a $4 register reward. I'm gonna grab this tooth uh, brush for $4.50. We have a $2 digital. And then I'm going to grab this Colgate toothpaste for $4.50 and we have a $2 digital. So the total for both of these products before any coupons is $9. We have $4 in, in um, digital coupons that will lower our out-of-pocket cost to $5. We will get that $4 register reward, making it a dollar for both. Now I'm going to do the Bactine deal again, except I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I have to grab the pain relief spray instead. So these two will total me $19.08. I have two $1.50 digitals that will lower my out-of-pocket cost to $16.08. Then submit to a fetch for $3.50. I bought it for $4.75 on my husband's account. And then we have a $2 I bought a rebate for the pain relief spray. Earn that $5 register reward, making this $0.83. And then I'm going to grab Declan's favorite snack. Now, I initially grabbed these spicy nachos, but I did end up switching them out because Declan would not eat those. He's only three. He can't handle that. But they are three for $9 this week. We do have a $3 off when you buy three of these products, making it three for six or $2 for each bag. So the total for everything in this transaction should be $37.08. We have $10 in digitals that will come off, leaving our out-of-pocket cost to $27.08. You can use register rewards to lower your cost if you need to. We will earn $9 in register rewards, five for the Bactine and four for the Colgate, $6.75 for my Bata, $3.50 from Fetch, and then the $7 in Walgreens per cash for when you spend $35 that's the digital booster making everything 83 cents so i'm going to go ahead and check out and go out to the car and we'll i'll let you know how it all worked out okay so we are back in the car um like i said with uh, cvs um everything went really well for that so i showed you the first uh transaction from walgreens this last transaction i so i tried to roll that health and wellness register reward that i got for the back team in the first transaction but it did not print out the second transaction. So maybe we can't roll those. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> um, Walgreens gets kind of wonky on me for sometimes. So I'm, I'm guessing we can't. I might submit to Catalina to see if um, we can, if I can get that mailed to me. And I did not get my Walgreens cash for my spend booster. And my total was like 39 before coupon or 37 before coupon. So I should have. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, I'll have to get in touch with the Walmart customer service because I'm not going to have time to run in. We have to take our older kids on the nine hour drive. So I kind of have to go right now. Um, and I want to get this up for you guys. So fingers crossed I'll be able to get all those back. Um, otherwise, it's, it's, it's a slow week at both stores. Hopefully it'll start to pick up. Um, I want to think, think of anything else. Um, I'm, I guess the plus side is we got a bunch of iBotter rebates. So but a lot of them you're gonna to have to hurry for. So definitely try to run today or possibly tomorrow. The Airwick I think has a countdown of like 13 hours, but sometimes they put it back out there, you never know. So if this video was helpful at all to you, please be sure to smash that like button. Let, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite deals this week and subscribe. And we will see you guys on Wednesday for my Walmart and Target haul. Bye guys.